straws, y'all. What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Wow! Let's take a moment and talk about straws. Plastic straw. Plastic straw. In the United States alone, we consume 500 million plastic straws. Every single day. In the United States alone, right? Every single day. 500 million. Plastic straws get used and then thrown away or thrown on the ground. That's what happens. And that statistic, that statistic is from 2014. So it's likely that we're using a lot more plastic straws. Every single day. And whatever ends up on the ground is most certainly gonna end up in the ocean or in our waterways and our lakes. We've been finding plastic straws on beaches around the globe. In fact, they're the fifth most common type of plastic pollution currently being found on the beach. And over time, plastic pollution in nature fragments and separates into these ever smaller bits and pieces of plastic. Oh, Degradation. Plastic straws are downcycled at best, but for the most part, they don't get recycled or downcycled at all because they're sized. They tend to slip through sorting centers and they can actually contaminate other recyclables. Plastics in general are downcycled. Downcycling is a whole other topic that I will cover at length. But plastic straws, plastic straws don't get recycled. They're not, they're not recyclable. So get that out of your head. This, this thing, thing that you are using, using will not be recycled. recycled. So plastic straws end up in landfill or on the ground, eventually ending up in waterways, potentially impacting marine life. <laughs> These single-use plastic straws, they suck. They suck. And they're kind of like the societal expectation. It's just this norm. It's this cultural norm of like, your your water is brought to you and it has this plastic straw and it's like... But, but, but what happens to the plastic straw? What happens to the straw? How do we change this? What can we conceivably do about straw? Simple bowl. Get rid of plastic straws. Personal responsibility. If you absolutely can't give up on straws, there's great alternative reusables that you can use over and over and over and over and over and over again. If you know that you're gonna want a straw or request a straw, like, just bring it, bring it with you. They're easy to clean. There's bamboo straws, there's glass straws, there's stainless steel straws, there's straws made out of silicone. There's also this brilliant collapsible metal straw keychain, ensuring you never forget your straw. So if you absolutely need a straw, get your own, own your own. Now that's kind of like of the mindset of be the change that you want to see in the world. And, and that's great, but I think it's incomplete. Like you can't place that expectation on others. But what I think we can do is we can help set conditions for change. Sure. Change. 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 Now don't get me wrong about living a zero waste lifestyle. Change. Because the only change, change. we can ever really control mm. are in the decisions we choose to make right now. Change. Make change. 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 We recommend that you schedule a time with the business owner unless you know them and can just talk frankly with them. I think this isn't you go at their peak business hours and you're like, hey, plastic straws, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. Use tact and be respectful. The most important thing is if businesses offer straws only upon request, businesses have seen a 60 to 90% reduction of their straw use. So no matter what, if they even don't want to get rid of plastic straws, if they just do this one thing, there'll be a lot less straws used. What they can also do is to change their straw, to switch their straw. There's paper straws, there's wheat straws, there's edible straws, there's a bunch of different varieties and I'll link all those down below. They're really affordable, especially when you're only offering straws upon request. If you don't wanna to talk to the business owner and you feel that's kinda of awkward or out of place or whatever, there's also these cards that you could print out from The Last Plastic Straw, which is a part of the Plastic Pollution Coalition. Cut them up and uh, leave them behind. If you feel that dedicated, if you feel like you wanna do more, then there's this great guidebook and toolkit for a strawless ocean from the Lonely Whale Foundation. 
and from the tin roof drink community, this pricing and comparison chart to make it even easier for businesses to transition away from plastic straws. And another thing is bioplastics. Currently not the solution. They, they could very well be in the future, especially with innovations using avocados, seaweed, and hemp. But right now they're not. Bioplastics require industrial composting machines. And even these machines are having trouble breaking down these bioplastics. And if a bioplastic straw makes it into the ocean, it poses the same threat as a normal plastic straw. If you're a business and you're gonna choose an option, make sure it's not a bioplastic. And finally, let's address the monkey riding the elephant inside the tiniest of rooms. I'm talking, of course, about corporate responsibility. <laughs> Corporations should step up to the plate already. McDonald's, Starbucks, and any other chain should be held accountable for the waste they are creating every single day. And not just for plastic straws. I'll leave it at that for now, but address this corporate unresponsibility a lot more in the future. So straws, just talking about straws, just one problem of a, of a multitude of problems, something very actionable. The change, it's, it's already happening. The dialogue and discussion is happening. If you're not seeing it, then that's a good place to start, to act upon that. If you wanna know more about straws, active initiatives and resources to help you spread the word, check out the links in the description and share this video. Also, please, please, please support the musicians throughout this video. Go see them live. If you liked this video, visit our Patreon and let us know what topic we should cover next. And you can support us making more videos like this. Subscribe while you add it. Subscribe while you add it. Subscribe while you add it.